Hello guys, so now let's talk about skirts for the body types. Before we go to body types, let's remember what kind of shapes of the skirts exist. Probably I'm not going to talk about all of them, but I will just remind you so you would know what we're talking about. It can be mini skirt, midi skirt or maxi skirt. Actually, different people call skirts slightly differently, but normally maxi skirt is a long skirt that stops at the ankle level or lower to the ground. Everything that is above ankle level and couple of inches below knee, we call this length midi skirt. Then if it's approximately around knee area, we call it knee length skirt. And then everything one or two inches above the knee, normally it's like 10 centimeters below butt cheeks. So that is called mini skirt. And mini skirt was called not because it's like small. Mary Quant made this revolution with mini dresses and mini skirts in the 60s. And also she first called it mini after her favorite car, which was called mini car. So this is why we call this mini skirt. Now it can be a line skirt, meaning like a letter A, repeating the shape. Then it can be flared skirt. Flared meaning Basically, also, it's like narrower at the hip area and then it goes wider to the bottom. It can be tulip skirt. It looks like a tulip. It can be trumpet skirt. It looks like a trumpet. It can be skirt with gathers. We're gathering the fabric together like this. And also gathers can be very small, like this. Small gathers, you see? And then they can be pretty big. When we have these big folds of the fabric, so we call them drapes. Also, they are tucks. This is skirt with tucks. Also, they're like a slit on the back of the skirt. They can be different slits. They can be different pockets on the skirt, like that. Now, it can be pencil skirt. Pencil skirt normally ends up around the knee area, and it's normally narrow. Also, it can be skirt with pleats, and pleats is different from drapes, because drapes is something soft, like soft waves. Pleats, they are very sharply ironed, so they normally look pretty sharp. They can be bigger pleats, probably like that, even like two inch pleats, but the most popular is small pleats, and they actually look very sharp, this type of skirts. Now, they can also be skirts that are pretty narrow at the hip area, and then they go wider at the knee area, and sometimes it's made differently. Sometimes it's just made as a shape, like a trumpet shape, or sometimes they just make it make the gathers and pleats around your butt and then the fabric just goes free down there. Also, they can be not straight cut of a skirt, but it can be diagonals, for example. Also gives it the, the sense of very avant-garde, interesting shaped skirt. Also, then can be very soft looking skirt with different frills on the in the end. For example, it can be two rounded pieces of fabric at the front, so you can still see your legs a little bit, but then there is like small ruffles and it's also a symmetrical cut skirt also they can be frills frills also look very feminine and playful and pretty sexy uh just because men rarer wear frills then they would wear clothes with straight shapes so that considers to be a little bit more feminine looking frills can be very small would be like this frills those are better for smaller women but also not all of them. And frills can be bigger. Also, skirts are made with very different fabrics, starting from very transparent fabrics like chiffon or something like silk. Normally, they look very soft and they're kind of repeating the shape of your body and they're very flexible. Also, there are skirts that can be made with, of course, cotton and linen, it's somewhere in between, and then we go to a more stiff fabrics that keep its shape. For example, denim fabric. Denim skirts, they normally keep its shape very well because denim is a very thick cotton. And also, the fabric can be very, very thick. Probably the thickest would be leather. So leather skirt or PU leather skirts nowadays are a very popular thing. We're gonna see now examples of these skirts. Maybe I forgot something, but I just hope I basically did that orientation for you around the skirts that exist. Now we're gonna talk about Kibi types. David Kibi's book Metamorphosis from the 80s is very popular. I'm gonna leave the link on the Kibi's playlist down below. Important note here that the book was written in the 80s and all these suggestions that he's doing uh, He's doing it from the viewpoint of 80s proper uh, dressing, from the viewpoint of what you could buy also in the 80s in the shops, and also from the viewpoint of what is aesthetic and pleasing to the eye in that particular time. 
nowadays the approach to the fashion changed a lot and I talk about this almost in my every video but still those recommendations really really work and then I'm gonna say like you you're gonna look the best in this kind of skirts and then you might not look your best in this kind of skirts and what I mean by that in the book it says avoid yeah those kind of avoids they all you can also use them but in this case you should think a bit more about other parts of your outfit and balance that skirt that probably is not repeating your lines, lines of your particular body. So the way how you use this information, it's totally up to you. Again, you don't have to throw anything away from your wardrobe. It's more about what are those skirts that are closest to your aesthetic, to your personal body structure, body type, your vibe and your personal style, your signature style. And what are probably not repeating your body type as good, but you can still use them, but just balance them with something else. And this way you can create amazing eclectic outfits that are so pleasing to the eye nowadays in 2021. I'm going to read now the parts of the book of David Kibin. The words are more important than the pictures that I'm showing because I was trying to find the pictures with this description that he wrote. So if you're not sure what this word means, better just clear this word in Google. Okay, let's start with dramatic type. Skirts for dramatic. Skirts are best when they are straight and long. Minimum length two inches below the knee and maximum length as long as you dare. If we talk about flared skirt, the one that is great for you is sleek and straight in the middle section from waist to knee. And then with the bottom piece flaring out gently. Likewise, all pleats should be stitched down through the hip area. They're not looking their best in full skirts, in gathered waists, in drapes and sheared shapes. Skirts for soft dramatics. So if they're picking short skirts, knee length, they may be paired with a long jacket or sweater on top. Detail should be elongated, shearing, soft folds and slits. They might not look their best in full skirts except on certain dresses. Dresses with drapes, elongated dresses. Also, they might not look their best with white unconstructed skirts, with A-lines and sharp pleats and in overly fussy and fitted skirts with delicate detail, like gathers, tucks, plackets. Skirts for romantic type. So they look their best when their skirt is full and flowing with soft gathers at the waist and uneven hemlines. Your version of the basic straight skirt is actually tulip shaped, full and gathered at the waist and tapered at the hemline, which is short. All flared styles are excellent from trumpets and swings to any bias cut or gourd style. Lengths should be kept gracefully long on uneven hemlines, mid-calf, and short on the tapered styles with even hemline, mid-kneecap. They might not look their best in all straight and tailored skirts, in A-lines and pleats. Theatrical Romantic Skirts are best when they are soft and shapely. Your version of a straight skirt is actually tulip shaped, with some gathering at the waist and a narrow taper at the hem. This type of hemline should be short, no longer than just below the knee. The other type of skirt that you wear equally well is a softly flowing skirt with an uneven hem. This will be longer, at least mid-calf. It's great when skirts have intricate details such as draping, shearing, gathers or bias cut pieces. Trumpets, sarongs and circles are all good shapes. They might not look their best in severe or straight skirts, in traditional tailored styles, A-lines, wide shapeless styles, long hemlines except on uneven hems that drape or flow, and sharp pleats. Classics. Skirts for classics are best when they're kept smooth and simple, clean lines, soft and straight or slightly flared, minimal detail. If standard straight, then one inch below knee. If slightly flared, then mid-calf. Can be paired with a long jacket too. Softly pleated skirts. They might not look their best in long pencil slim styles, in full flouncy styles, in over-detailed touches, like pockets, gathers, trim, soft classics. 
Skirts are best when they are soft, smooth and gently flowing. A straight skirt should be lightweight and slightly tapered at the hemline to avoid stiffness. Flared skirts are best with an uneven hemline that softly flows. Waist detail should be soft and subdued with slight gathers or soft pleats that are stitched down through the hip. Bias cut pieces that are added to the bottom of the skirt are also possible. Hemlines on a straight skirt should be short, never longer than one inch below the knee. Uneven hemlines will always be longer, gracefully grazing the mid-cuff area. If they use slits, they should be small and elegant. They might not look their best in long straight skirts, in sharply tailored skirts, in wide unconstructed styles, in voluminous circles, in extra flouncy skirts except for smoothly flared styles, extremely tight or clingy skirts, excess detail that is overdone, like draping, shearing, full gathers or ultra deep folds, for example. Dramatic classic. Skirts are best when they are straight and narrow. A few crisp gathers at the waist are usually needed to accommodate your hips. It is very important that your skirts are always flat from the hip to the upper thigh area. Pleats should be stitched down at the top so as not to upset your sleek vertical line. Small slits are excellent. So is any tailored detail such as pocket flaps, contrasting stitching, waistbands and so on. Hemlines can range from one inch below the knee to the top of the calf. A bias cut skirt is possible, so as a straight skirt that has a bias cut piece added to the bottom gently flaring out. These hemlines are uneven and must be longer in the mid-cuff range. They might not look their best in full flouncy skirts, in skirts with fussy detail like draping, shearing and gathers, in A-lines and in wide unconstructed skirts. Natural. Skirts are best when they are simple and straight, softly tailored styles. Culottes, gauchos, simple tailored detail, plackets, pockets, trouser pleats, slits, low kick pleats, inverted pleats, button front. Moderate length, one inch below knee. Very short skirts for fun, funky looks. Very slightly flared hemlines. They might not look their best in full gathered skirts, in flouncy skirts, in accordion pleats, in severely straight skirts. Soft natural. Skirts are best when they have a soft outline. Full or flared skirts that are flat in the hip area are excellent. Straight skirts that are lightweight, draped or slightly tapered are also good. Straight skirts that have an even hem and are worn short no longer than the bottom of the kneecap. Full skirts have an uneven hem and are worn long, mid calf and below. Slits, kick pleats, button fronts, plackets and so on are all fine, as are bits of intricate detail, shearing, draping, as long as they are not restrictive. They might not look their best in long straight pencil slim skirts, in overly fitted skirts with excess trim, with symmetrical skirts, like A-lines, for example. Flamboyant Nacho. Skirts are best when they are long and straight, but not severe. Slits, pockets, kick pleats, plackets are good, but any draping or shearing should be kept low and loose from the hips down, and no detail should ever inhibit mobility. Short straight skirts are fun and funky, but worn with oversized tops. Hemlines are longish on straight skirts and should fall at the top of the cuff, or longer. Hemlines on full skirts are uneven and should be very long. Bottom of the cuff is the minimum length. They might not look their best in, in long pencil slim styles, short symmetrical styles, flouncy styles, smooth flared styles. Gamins. Skirts are best when they are straight, sharp and short with a narrow and tapered hemline. A slightly flare skirt is fine if it is kept very straight through the hips and thighs. This could either be bias cut or stitched down pleats. Skirts must be very fitted at the waistband. Crisp gathers will work but not deep ones. Straight skirts should have a short hemline, mid kneecap to minis. 
A slightly flared hemline may be slightly longer, top of the calf. Anything extremely long is very tricky and must have a slit and be pencil slim. They might not look their best in full skirts, in flouncy skirts, in oversized or unconstructed skirts, in A-lines and symmetrical skirts, also with long hemlines, very dowdy on them. Soft kamin. They look their best in skirts that are short, trim and shapely. They should have a defined waistband, usually with small crisp gathers. Your version of a straight skirt should be tulip-shaped and tapered at the knee. This hemline is even and ends mid-knee or very slightly below, never longer. Long skirts are tapered at the knee or just below and then flare out gently into a modified trumpet shape. If this is a very slight flare, a slit is possible. This hemline is uneven and will end mid-calf. Asymmetrical hemlines are also excellent. Low or dropped flounce are elegant touches on skirts. They might not look their best in long straight skirts, in traditional symmetrical styles, A-lines, in wide unconstructed styles, in voluminously full circle skirts, in sharp pleated skirts. Flamboyant gamin. Your basic best straight skirt is short and slim, either severely tailored or sculpted into a clean taper at the hemline. This hemline should end no lower than mid-knee, or higher for fun funky styles. A long straight skirt may be worn if it tapers at the knee slightly and then flares out very subtly, but not into a trumpet, that's too much flounce. Then there will be a slit probably in the back. Pleated skirts are okay as long as the pleats are stitched down through the hip area. This has an uneven hemline and will be longer mid-calf. Bias cut skirts may also be worn as long as they are very narrow and close to the body. This also has an uneven hemline and is worn to the mid-calf area. They might not look their best in traditional symmetrical styles, A-lines, in wide unconstructed styles, in full flowing styles, in deep gathers and soft folds, in sharp pleats that are not stitched down through the hips, in bouffant skirts. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you very soon and I really hope that you're staying safe. Goodbye. Subscribe on my Pinterest for 13 boards as an inspiration for the body types. Also, you can subscribe on my Instagram. All the links I'm gonna leave down below. Also, you can become my sponsor or subscribe on my Patreon for some exclusive videos, some early access to these videos and um, just if you want to support me and my channel. Thank you so much guys and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.